I missed this one at Sundance, but luckily it's now arrived on Netflix. The documentary film Misha and the Wolves is a dramatic thriller with some crazy mystery. But what is the truth? Misha and the Wolves is the dramatic tale of a woman whose Holocaust memoir took the world by storm, but a fallout with her publisher, who turned detective, revealed an audacious deception created to hide a darker truth. I knew nothing about the story of Misha de Fonseca and her memoir about her growing up hiding from the Nazis during World War II and then traversing through the forests of Belgium and Germany where she befriends packs of wolves. This documentary is shot beautifully. The camera work, whether it's interview footage or B-roll or even reenactments, all look spectacular and cinematic. And the interviews are what make this. The filmmakers interview people from a few different countries to recount their efforts of uncovering the real truth of Misha. I think the way this documentary sets up the story is incredibly engaging, as we are drawn into Misha's narrative with all of the heart-wrenching details that that entails. Then, as her story is published, we meet a supposed villain in her life. Now this is the stuff that twisting mysteries are built with. The doc unveils pieces of the story in a chronological way to help us draw us into the tale. I enjoyed the way each interviewee was introduced. There's a title screen for each one, giving them a character title based on their role instead of their name. So for example, we'll see the friend, or the genealogist, or even the attorney flash up on the screen as we are introduced to a new speaker in the story. I think this ups the drama, making this play out so much more like a cinematic thriller than a true story. But that's the crazy part. All that we watch is true. This is a wild ride of a documentary. Not because it's flashy, it's actually very reserved in everything it does. The ride is insane because of how quietly it builds with such wonderful suspense. I found myself on the edge of my seat because as each new layer was peeled back, I was hesitant to get excited because I just didn't know how it was all going to end up. Now the pace of this 90 minute movie is slower at first, but then it picks up about that halfway mark, which is about also when the story transitions from recounting a biography to becoming a detective adventure. Now there's a setting effect that the filmmakers employ as a key piece of the story is unveiled. And while the story is transitioning and revealing something that's very important, the visuals we've been watching also begin to reveal the truth. This probably sounds more dramatic than it actually was, but I appreciated how the filmmakers used this action to reinforce what is being told to us. Now, like I said, I didn't know anything about this, so everything that played out in the film was completely new to me. I was truly watching a mystery unfold in front of me in the form of a true story. If you're already familiar with Misha de Fonseca and her memoir, this may not reveal anything new other than the way it's told. I think whether or not you know about her, the visuals and the way the film is produced is reason enough to check it out. Now, because Misha's story encompasses her childhood during the Holocaust, there is some good history that is explored. I found it particularly interesting in how children were hidden in order to save them. The network and record keeping that was employed is brilliant and complex, and I found it highly educational in the way the documentary presents the information. And because Misha's memoir was an international spectacle, the documentary shows us the effects of all of this on the people that she came in contact with. From international publishers to educators and even students, we see how Misha's story connected and touched so many. There's also a lot of heartbreak in the interviews. One that I found to be the most profound was with an interview with a Belgian genealogist. She is a Holocaust survivor and her own story is pretty harrowing and tragic. And the interview captures her raw emotion. I found it impactful. Now the one bummer thing with this documentary, and admittedly it is a very small one, is that after all the info is unveiled and the story has been told, there's less of a sense of relief or positive resolution. I didn't feel a large sense of justice, which I wanted to feel as a sort of redemption or restitution. Now this didn't ruin the film for me, it's just something I would have liked to experience as the story wrapped up. At the end of this, Misha and the Wolves is a thrilling tale with mystery and drama that ends up showing that the truth is stranger than fiction. The cinematography is wonderfully executed and the interview footage is engaging. And while this may not necessarily present any new information, the manner in which it's shown is reason enough to watch. There's no sex or nudity, some profanity, and some images of violence. I highly recommend checking out Misha and the Wolves, which is now playing on Netflix. So have you heard of this true story? I'm curious how the documentary storytelling impacts you. Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.